What if I told you that this leaf is a mini quantum machine that has been designed in such a way that breaks the boundaries between our physical world and the quantum world? Photosynthesis, the process of converting light into energy, takes place all around us, but it remains a mystery as to how the process is so efficient. When light or photons land on a leaf, they are absorbed by the chlorophyll, and they have so much energy that they displace electrons within the chlorophyll. When the electrons are displaced, they form something called an exciton, and this exciton has the job of getting to a free reaction center to be converted into energy. But this is where the problem lies. The excitons are really far away from the reaction centers, so how is it possible that almost every exciton gets to a reaction center within one nanosecond? For a long time, scientists thought that the excitons randomly jumped about until they found a good path to take to arrive to a free reaction center. However, that means that most excitons would get lost. And that's because there's so many layers of chlorophyll within the plant. In 2007, a more in-depth research found a better explanation, that for such high efficiency to be achieved during photosynthesis, the excitons use something called quantum superposition. So what exactly is quantum superposition? Well, it's the idea that at an incredibly small level, particles like electrons or excitons can exist in many different places at once. So an electron can exist here with a 50% probability, and also here with a 40% probability, and also here with a 10% probability. All of these possibilities make up something called a wave function, which is just a combination of every single possible place that this particle can exist. However, the second I observe or look at a particle, it stops existing in all of these different places. Instead, it now exists in one single place, meaning that the wave function completely collapses. Yeah, there's a reason why quantum mechanics is really weird. So back to our problem, the exciton needs to reach the free reaction center without getting lost. The research claimed that rather than the exciton randomly jumping between different chlorophyll, it uses quantum super position to take every possible path to arrive to the reaction center. So it basically exists in all of these different parts at once and when it arrives to the reaction center it materializes. And that could be why photosynthesis is so effective. So if a tiny green leaf can achieve more than 80% efficiency during photosynthesis why can't we do so in solar cells? Well the answer appears to be in our outdated designs of these solar cells. So by tweaking the design a team at the University of Gothenburg was able to replicate a really similar idea in solar cells. But I still believe that in order to achieve such high efficiency in solar cells more fundamental questions need to be answered. For example what shapes and materials are most effective to achieve quantum superposition? What role can artificial intelligence play in quantum mechanics? And how can we use other technologies like lasers in order to activate quantum tech? Quantum biology is a growing field and it turns out biomimicking how nature works around us might be the way forward.